Oh, I meant to do a map there, didn't I? Yes, I did. We'll do it here. So that brings us up here. And we need to go further upper this way. Looks like I made it through another night. But we'll get around this corner up here and see what's up there. There seems to be a draw there. So we're going to have to come down a little bit. Now up here on the hill is a good place to spot for wolves, bear, and deer. If you're far away, you can see quite a distance. I'm not sure if we're going to have to go down or if we can just get over this. We'll certainly find out. Oh, this looks steep. I see some stuff over there. So we'll go over there. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit and go down. Oh, there's a bunny, couple of bunny rabbits. Three of them. And that looks like something up there. Some reishi mushrooms, two stumps of them, yeah, lots of firewood, and a dead deer. So what's in this? This appears to be a cave. That's a crow feather. There used to be a storm a blowing in. Well, let's go in here. Oh, it's just a nice comfy little cave place to hide away from the storm. Ooh, more goodies. A bedroll. Wow, and lots of wood. Isn't this handy? And more books to read. Advanced guns, 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 guns. How many hours? That's a lot of hours of reading, isn't it? Let's just do four hours for now. What do we got over here? We got some food, dog food. I if this is any good to eat. Well, let's look at our food. Dog food. Seventy-two percent condition. Excellent. out of pops. This storm is so loud, I hope it's recording. Yeah, I hope it's recording. Okay. I wonder what condition that thing is at. Use this. Seventy-seven percent. It's only a kilo. Let's take it. I don't like carrying a sleep bag around. It weighs me down. I might have to drop some gear. Yeah, we're we're a mite heavy, but I think we're just gonna go over here by the door.
Check the temperature over here. Feels like minus four. Oh, it's cold out there. Air temperature is minus thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we can we can stay in here and shelter out of the storm. And there seems to be enough light to do research with, so I'm good with that. Feels like plus four. Okay, that's good enough. So let's research our books. Guns, guns, guns. Still miserable out there. I should be making charcoal, shouldn't I? We'll make charcoal overnight. Too dark. Start this fire. And we can continue to research by firelight. Might as well throw everything. Fur to all them sticks. Not a sewing primer. How much have we got left on a sewing primer, by the way? A sewing primer. Guns, guns, guns. And wilderness kitchen. Actually, I think this one, that's the cooking one, isn't it? Sewing. We haven't had to do a lot of sewing, but cooking, we like, cooking is probably the higher priority. And this is only five hours, so let's research it. We're going to need to drink soon. Yep, we're hungry and thirsty. least eat the low condition We're stuff need first. To rest soon. Yeah, I know, buddy. What should we make? Make some coffee. Or we could make water, it's what we need to do. Let's make some water. So that will be ready in thirty minutes. So we can we can research for thirty minutes. And uh, tools. We've only got two books left to re research, so. And that water. So tired. A 
Let's make some more water. And uh, we're going to need to make coffee soon. Cook. Have we got any coffee on us? Ricey tea, nope. We don't have another tin can. So we would need to eat something that comes in a tin can. So that we can make coffee. Or we use that thing to make coffee. What have we got that we could eat? Dog food. Good old dog food. We'll get a tin can from that. Tin of coffee, no, no cans from that. Sounds like that water's getting ready. We have 0.89 liters, so. Yeah, we gotta wait another half an hour. Oh, I think we have. We have uh, pills to, to uh, fix that with. Let's use them. How many does that treat? Let's take a look at our water now. That treated a, all of that little half of a liter. Or Let's cook some coffee. 66% stuff. 10 minutes. Do not have an empty can yet. Still got two hours. We could probably sleep in here. See if that did anything for us. Not much. Warming up. Okay. We can uh, we can read a book for a little while. So tired, I could just lay down right here. Well, we could. We can't run. I'd like to put in a little more wood on that fire. Because guess what? It is just about morning. And we need a nap. So while we're napping, we should uh, make firewood. Make charcoal, I mean. We grab these sticks. Just for sniffs and giggles, let's go over to this deer carcass and see what it'll take to harvest it. Quarter it. One hour, 30 minutes with that. 
an hour 30 minutes with that and one hour 30 minutes with that because guess why because it's frozen and if we unthaw it it'll go down to one hour but I do want to see the difference between this and this it doesn't look like there's any difference so that was a curiosity the other day we had a we had a thawed carcass and uh, it didn't take long so to get the guts 24 minutes 1 hour 36 minutes so to quarter it is 1 hour and 30 minutes but if we thaw it out the only thing that will be affected is is the meat although we do kind of want the meat um, how long would it take to get that meat? 5 minutes 13 minutes to get the meat okay let's get the meat we cook that up and what do we have what's the condition now what's the condition of that meat it's 32 so it'll come up to 80 82 percent so let's get in in here while we still have while we still have uh, a fire going we got some more sticks so we can we can throw that on the fire probably get long enough on the fire to go and harvest one of those cedar or fir logs whatever it is but we are just so exhausted but we can take one hour naps while we cook this meat if we can if we can get it down these pieces of meat aren't going to be the same size so that one's 43 minutes and that's 11 minutes 10 minutes oh my so that doesn't make it easy for us to grab a nap at all this we could have a nap on this one let's uh, pass time take it and this one still has 31 minutes so we can grab an hour of sleep <laughs> Fire is still going. You can hear it going. Add some fuel. Now we got 20 minutes, so we can take a torch, and then we can uh, go over here and start a fire beside that deer that fire over there is uh, served its purpose it made water it made charcoal out here we need a fire to thaw this little feller half an hour fire should make him harvestable oh, there's more feathers and we pass up feathers Let's go over here and make fire. And we're going to use our torch and a stick and some accelerant. And we're going to start that fire. Turned out pretty well. And let's add some fuel to that. Now, which one of these have we uh, researched already? Uh, 
That one is not done. That one is not done. But over here... Slowing primer, guns, guns. Stay on target can be used. And wilderness kitchen can be used. Both these can be used. Stay on target and wilderness kitchen. Okay, so let's... That's that one. And that's that one. And don't you dare burn those ones. Well, let's, uh, what do you got? For, we got one hour, 49 minutes. And this is 87%. So it's going to be ready to harvest really soon now. For 45 minutes. Okay, let's break it down. That's enough. hours okay let's see how long it takes to quarter now one hour 30 minutes well that's odd knife one hour 30 minutes they're all the same however if I go here take the hide, that's 32 minutes. If I take the guts, that's 44 minutes. 56, that's a lot less time just to do it this way. Okay. Well, we can... There's no meat to cook, so... This fire is purely for... for charcoal at this point. I'm going to use the improvised knife. It's at 84. You just lay down. Have a little sleep. Right here. I was sure that it was quartering was only one hour. Uh, last time we did a deer, that was with a fresh deer. Okay, I think we just we just have to. Uh, I'm gonna add. I want the. Uh, I want the charcoal. And uh, it is now mid morning, so. Uh, I'm going to chart. Duck over this hill. I can barely move. Maybe I'm not going to duck over that hill. So that fire will burn out. Own. This fire is already burned out, so we'll get its charcoal. Ten charcoals, cool. Sleep for four, and then research the rest of the day until it's time to sleep again. Because we're going to need to get our energy back. Uh, as far as these guts and hides, I wonder if they'll even cure in here. Let's find out. Let's find out if they if they cure or not. Fresh, drop, drop, and drop. Okay, now if you look at them like this, it's 1% cured. So they do cure in caves. So what do we have right now? We have a uh, windstorm going on out there. Well, we're a little bit, we're a little bit rested, so we could, uh, we could go out here. And uh, explore a little bit. Thanks so much for the wind shelter. I have to be more careful. This 
Brain risk could mean death out here. It sure could. That's what I said. Sprain wrist could mean your death. Sprained ankle. The wrist is still very, very serious. I mean, you can't hunt. What are you going to do? Fish? That's about it. So let's chart. Let's see. Where are we? <coughs> There's the cave. Aishi mushrooms, rabbit grove. Deer carcass, fur limb. I'm gonna duck out for a second here and look at look at my maps. Where is my map? There it is. Uh, so cave. Yeah, the maple sapling would be right outside the cave, and it's not. So the next spot to go and head for is down the road keeping to the left pick up those bird saplings at the prepper cache tools and on our way okay so we got anything back there guts and a hide charcoal what do we got for charcoal Eleven pieces. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a little explore here and we'll come back. I think we're gonna come back later for that guts and hides and charcoal. Because it'll still be there. By the way, you can duck in behind a tree, and guess what? You get wind shelter. And how can you tell? Well, you look for the clouds and see which way the clouds are going. But generally, you can you can kind of tell where the uh, where the wind is coming from. So let's chart. There's lots of sticks here. We can play pickup sticks. Here's an interesting looking location. Get up here. This would be a good spot to hide a prepper cache. Isn't this a nice spot? But there's nothing here. Let's chart it. So it's sort of in there, isn't it? I'm not sure. We're on the scout for maple sapling here. We'll get around the other side of this. This looks awfully steep. How did we get up here? Well, this is above the road. Well, let's, let's chart it then. Yeah, the road should show up now. It's sort of showing up. I think we can get down there. you get down into that little thing there that 
road, you I don't think you can get back up those walls. But up here we have wind shelter at least. get over I kind of want to get over this hill we got a uh, oh, sprained wrist two of recovery time two of two hours so if we uh, go here get the medicine and then we use painkillers 52 those ones are oh man <sighs> We could have used some of this rose of tea. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I could have saved the painkillers. They're lighter than the tea. But the teas makes a good emergency water source. And it also has calories. So up here. We'll be up on this hill. We'll be overlooking that valley down below. Is that... I have a feeling that there's something around here. I just don't know exactly where it is. We could have walked right past the maple tree too and not even seen it. That that can happen. Well, let's chart this. Okay. Yeah. I think we want to swing wide and come back this way and head back to our uh, sleeping bag because we still need to pass the night. So let's head down this way a little bit more. I see something down there, but I don't know what it is. And I see something over here too. Oh, this might be the lake. This could be the lake. Yeah, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah. This is the lake. And there's a fishing hut here. So there could be all kind of goodies in that fishing hut. And there's a deer as well. Two deer. And there's cattails. Lots of cattails here. Feels like something is sapping my energy. Oh, you're getting tired, bud. I've been pushing you pretty hard. Ooh, it's got a door and everything. Ooh, another knife. Not bad, not bad. Two. Hmm. Cloth. Oh, goodies too. Beef jerky. Hope I can still eat this. Oh, it's perfectly good. Stacy's grape soda. Perfectly fine. Survive the outdoors. Survival. Fire starting skill by 10 points. Cool. I'm going to take it. Now I'd be tempted to fish here, but uh, we're going to need sleep. If I've got any fuel, might as well drop it here. I don't have any fuel. Just these books. So, much as I like fishing, we're going to have to map this place. I'm going to go over here, and then we'll map. So, ice fishing hole. So, we want to go back along this, this ridge here, so we can cover that area. So that be over there. Anybody's keeping track. You're wondering how I know what my directions are. I can't tell you. 
Halli schnell. I just kind of know from the topography. I played this game so much in the past that that I sort of know how everything is organized. So our valley, if I'm not mistaken, is up that way. There's some stuff down there that I don't recognize. So we'll go down there. But I think right over here we're going to do another charting. Yeah, it's just about night time. So that gets us back home again. Let's jog a little just to pick up speed. So I'm curious what these ground things are down here. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Picnic tables. Alright, there's a dude. There's a dude, and there's wood, and there's another hatchet. Picnic spot. Okay. Well, did we chart this already? Uh, I don't think so. So that gets us up right by that frozen corpse. So if we just continue along this highway in the opposite direction from the way we came, which was over that way. We should come to our cave again. And we can get some more wood if we want it. I think we'll pick up sticks. It's quicker. sure I can carry much more. There should be feathers around here. You know that? There's a dude here. What's this stuff? Orange soda. Beef jerky. What the heck? There be feathers here. Yep, there be feathers. And there's wood too, which we might as well take we can make more charcoal out of it. Crazy that I'd be more interested in charcoal than, than cooking stuff. He's empty. Okay, let's get up to our cave before it gets too dark. Let's see if we have any coffee in our inventory. I think we do. Yeah, that rehydrates us and gives us an energy boost. And let's see what it does for our stamina. We're not going to be able to sleep, are we? Well, we've got we've got some of it back, so we can run at least. We'll use that running. Speed. Something's making me feel tired. Yeah, you're, you're, you need to sleep. I think it's up that way, isn't it? We came skyrimming along there. Yeah, we came along that edge there, so we still have to go back up this way.
No. Oh, gee. So that's the road up there. And uh, where did we get to up Damn. here? Another spring. Gotta be more careful. Yeah, well, walking on steep stuff, you know, if you're tired, it's gonna happen. Can we actually get up there? Because how did I get up there? I got up there by going up a different slope, didn't I? Went around this corner here. If I remember. Yeah, here's my cave over here. So we've been to picnic spot, and there's our cave is down here. So straight that way, the road comes, seems to come along there. It doesn't really show the road very well at all, which is kind of disappointing. But I think the road goes down that way, and then goes that way. See, this is where we would twist an ankle. Is this where the cave is? Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. That sucks when you're lost out in the dark and, it, and night is approaching and you don't know where your sleeping bag is. Well, we do know where the crossroads is. We can get back there if we have to, but somewhere up here is our cave. This is looking a lot more familiar. I hope. Is, otherwise this no because we haven't passed the river so if you don't pass the river you can't get back to oh here we are we can make reishi tea you know up these things make yourselves a nice fire okay go over here pick up some more charcoal nothing here and we took seven wow nice and there's another break that down Cave is right up here somewhere. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Oh, stop complaining. We're almost there. Now, this is where it gets a little bit dark. So we light a torch. My energy is just disappearing. We go over here. Oh, 
We did bring the sleeping bag with us, didn't we? I know. We didn't forget it. Ooh, what was that about? Suddenly the lights went out. So there's going to be a fire here. And some stuff curing. And a sleeping bag, which we did not pick up. So let's use this torch. Where's the torch? Come on. We have so many matches and some accelerant. And let's start this fire. That should help warm things up. We seem to have a lot of firewood, so let's add it all on here. Cook whatever we can cook and research. Can't add any more fuel right now. No, oh, nice. Can we add a stick? Okay. That's all we can do with that baby. 11 hours, 34 minutes. So we can read to our heart's content. So let's go over here, sit on our bedroll. And we'll read. For, well, let's sleep for a little while. Yeah, we need to eat and, and drink first, so let's do that. Drink that. Eat that. for a couple of hours. Let's heal our sprained wrist. And then we can uh, add some more fuel. And then we can research some more. And uh, eat some meat. Some water. Okay, fifteen minutes, so that'll take just about half an hour to cook, so we can research for an hour. Rolling primer, might as well research that one for an hour. Research for another hour. I just need to close my eyes. The fire has eight hours left. We've got no more fuel. I need to drop something. Why do you want to drop something? What do you got you want to drop? All this meat? You don't have a lot of meat. What is so heavy? Sort by heavy. Oh, the bear skin and all these arrows. We should have left those arrows back by the by the barn, shouldn't we have? Yeah, yeah. 
You have two axes now. Two knives. Well, three hatchets all together. You count all those crafted ones. Just a lot of arrows mainly. Yeah, three kilos of arrows. Five kilos of bear coat. That weighs us down. Okay, let's research another little bit here. Okay. seven minutes just enough time to cook some coffee and the campfire has got five minutes let's run out and see if we can find a stick for it back in time. No, we didn't. Fifteen, holy cow. We'll drink it. So let's drop some sticks here. Put our arrows in this container. Arrows, come on. Heavy stuff. Simple arrow 20. Thanks for it all. That leaves us a few arrows. Simple arrows will be down here. Okay. So our fatigue isn't too bad right now. What time is it? <coughs> Mid-afternoon. So if we go and uh, get some more wood. See, we got these charcoals already, right? Yeah, more wood down here.
some more stuff here as well. Oh, somebody left sticks in the fire. What was with that? Sticks. Oh. oh, we didn't get any big firewood. What can we put in here? We can put a bunch of those in. Six kilograms. We better not forget about this. Sewing primer, we'll put that in there, put that in there. Cure deer hide in there. Put that in there. Come on, in you go. Oh, it's full. Okay. That's all we can fit in there, so let's go out and get some firewood. this side now. I don't see any up here. No big limbs anymore, just branches. There's stuff over there. All branches, I think. Feels like minus 16, so we are getting cold. And we must be nerfing our clothing right now with this storm. Fortunately, it's Pilgrim. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but this storm sure is loud in my ears. Pleasant Valley doesn't seem too pleasant, does it? Talk about storms. Yes, indeed. Oh, here's some limbs. We'll get these guys. carry all this. It can be heavy. Okay. Now we've got to find out where Too heavy. the cave is. I think it's up here. There's no tracks anymore, is there? There's no reference point, so up. We go up until we recognize something. It's getting calmer here. 
So this could, yeah, I think this is our cave. This is the ravine coming to the cave. We have a ton of wood. Wait, this is not our cave. This is a little sheltered spot. We got no charcoal because guess what? We left it. We're in here. I think we've got to go more. I think it's over around this thing here. Look at this rock. Crazy. It's like a fist. This looks familiar. There's a campfire. I bet you there's a cave over here. Somewhere. Where the heck did our cave go? Here it is. If it's warm enough, feels like plus four, so we can sleep for uh, 12 hours, probably, after we eat and drink. So let's eat and drink. Drink that. That'll hydrate us. And eat this, so we want that tin can. Lots of this stuff, but we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to do that because we, we've, uh, we're going to recover our condition by sleeping. Woke up fully rested. Recycle can. We could start a fire now. Uh, we might as well. Ninety five, let's do it. Gives us an hour, and then we can cook uh, water. Cook. Oh, 
Water, I said. Cook. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Sleep for an hour. Okay, I'm not tired enough. Okay, research for an hour. Tools, books. Oh, I put them in here, didn't I? So why is that, uh... These sticks are almost in a fire. can't seem to quite research for because our cooking level is a little too high it's too fast Oops. okay and we're gonna melt more snow we're gonna melt more snow oops herbal tea I didn't mean to take that do that Oh well. But anyways, uh, so, uh, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to use the water purification tablets. Purify up that water. That. Seven minutes until melted, three minutes and two minutes until ready. We'll drink that. It gives us improved rest. We'll melt snow there. Melt snow there. So both of those will be ready in half an hour. Golly. We can't hardly get anything done. Um, in half an hour. Can I research a part of a book? See, with that improved cooking, now I can't do my water because it's too fast. I can't do an hour's worth of activities. Oh well. What time is it? Just about sun up. Well, we have fire for another hour. Look at our sewing primer. It's no longer in our tools, that means it's and we can no longer use it, so we might as well cook it. And we are nearly rested, it's nearly morning. 
How much water do we have? Oh, we can purify that. can't research. We could sleep for part of an hour. There's not a lot you can do for 15 minutes, is there? Okay, we're going to leave this fire and leave all this stuff here because it is now morning and we're going to take our charcoal leave this stuff take our charcoal and go exploring we're going to have to come back for our uh, bring this to. Is there any more food in here? Bring bring uh, a knife. What's the condition of this thing? Pedro, what's your condition? 74%. So we'll drop him. He's all rolled up. He won't lose condition that way. What do we got for inventory? Gee, we're sloshing a lot. Um, three liters. Drop some water here. See where we're at here. A deer carcass. So if we go straight up here, we'll come to this dark area where there's hills drawn in. So yeah, right up there. safely chart here, especially if we peek over the edge a little bit. It's always good to get up high. So there's the road down there. So let's chart. Yes, that opens things up quite a lot. 
So then if we head roughly parallel to the road that way, we'll come to the next dark area. So the road bends off that way, so we want to go that way. And there's rocks in the way, so... we got to go around them. Can't hip it. Oh, hey, here's a road. And we have calm here, so we might as well chart. come to some steepness I think that goes that way let's go this way sticks something up there not sure what it is. Oh, that be the road. Okay. That is the road. Well, let's chart again because I'm confused. Yeah, so if we keep going parallel to the road, which is over there. We'll come up over those those rocks here. But those are the same rocks that surround that lake. So to get to that lake, we have to go in between these rocks. And there's a road here. That's okay. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. And let's get over to these rocks take notice of any little clefts that are here. There's a little sheltered spot. This is, if you're ever lost and you got to make fire, this is the kind of place you got to find so that you, when you make your fire, it doesn't burn out on you. There's nothing worse than trying to catch 40 winks in the storm and your fire blows out. I'll tell you. I'm going to chart. Hmm. Well, we're going to keep going along this ridge here. Because I can see power lines over there. see deer. Lots of cedar limbs. Yes, yeah, so we're here. So we need to go right away from the road, which is there, and that's up that way. Bring this right out here. So let's chart this little location. Low visibility? That's not fair. Well, if that's the case, I'm going fishing. I know where the fish lake is. It's over this hill. Darn storms. Be nice if we found the preppers cache, wouldn't it? It's up here too somewhere. 
Come on, baby. Doggone, I don't even know where we're at now. We're good and lost. There's lots of wood here, though. And we're starting to get cold. All this wind and wind shells making us, making us cold. We seem to be by something big here. I'm still waiting to see something I recognize. It's going to be the river when we come to it. I mean, what is, this looks like a river. Lower Falls, yep. We'll try and mark it, but no, we can't. So the only way up is over here. On the other side of these falls. I've been here before. There's another prepper's location up here. We're lucky. I've never found it. I've been here many times, but never found the prepper's cache. So this takes us to the upper area and to the upper falls, if I'm not mistaken. We follow it all the way. So across there. There it is. A little bridge taking us over. remember which way the ground slopes that helps you keep your orientation I guess that's how I kind of do it but as you move around the, the slope of the ground is going to change but you got to remember that off to the right here that's where the lake is so many branches Okay, so we've got some firewood here. Everything else is empty, empty. I 
Wait. Hypothermia risk? What are you talking so about? Old and warming up again. That did it. Did we finish the sewing primer? I forget. I'm gonna have to use this hatchet. We left our sleeping bag behind, didn't we? We have an hour and 27 minutes. So we're gonna fish for an hour. And we did not catch anything. But we're all the way warmed up. And we still got 56 minutes on our thing, so we might as well fish for another hour. Let's fish for two hours. Whitefish, oh yum. Okay, we're going to need to get firewood to cook these fish. Let's look at their condition. Two kilos, oh, lots, and they're heavy. Well, we don't have to cook them here. Well, what time is it? It's late afternoon. And we stink. But we are warm. And our condition is feels like one so it's the wind chill that's killing us so we have to push on to a bed and more loot so where do we go up this way it's worth a quick check around here it could be stuff could be hatchets out here sticking in these. There'll definitely be something up here. Like a dude. I'm not gonna take that stuff. Damn. Another sprained ankle. What's with that? Okay, okay. Somewhere we have those of tea. And that cures whatever ails you. Might as well drink. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, let's eat. Eat this. Drink that. Are we at least out of the wind here? Not much. Kind of a bit. I thought there'd be more stuff there. So, down there is the lake. It means that's the way we want to go. The road. There'll be a bridge up here. why I feel so tired. Well, because I've been pushing you so relentlessly. And if we could only chart, we could spend some time charting. So let's look at the map anyways. So, we're up in here. And it's so stormy, we can't see anything. Corpse in a backpack. I forget if we looted the backpack or not. So we got a little bit of stamina back. Well, that's the kind of the road that goes along the ridge there, parallel to the river. 
And along that ridge somewhere could be a prepper's cache. But I've never found one. That looks like a ridge. Big snow drift at the start of it. Well, so far we have not found any bows nor maple. That is not. Maybe that's poppy. I thought we had a bunch of maple saplings back in the other place. Here's a broken thing. I don't know what that means. Something nearby. Often there's a crepper's cache on the other side of this hill. And I have found that one. This here. We get in here. We're sort of sheltered. So off that way is the, the uh, passage to another uh, region. There's another cave up there. And up here, we could encounter the bear. here, take shelter, and look at our map again, just for the heck of it, not that it does us any good, we'll just look at it, we might as well have a snack, we can't eat the fish yet, uh, we can certainly eat this stuff, uh, this is the lowest stale chocolate bar, Fills us up a little bit, lightens our load. Eat and drink, that's all it takes to restore your condition. I mean, your stamina. Look at that snow, wow! Isn't that wild? Yep. I'm getting weaker. I know you're exhausted. Nope, the recording. This storm is just so intense to hear it. Like, I do not. Is Pleasant Valley always this unpleasant? Excuse me, folks. Yeah, we're so tired we can't, cannot run for anything. We're not going to be able to chart, so let's put that away. So it's a nice place to visit, but you sure wouldn't want to live here. This kind of storm is, is not conducive to outdoor activities. Now if we brought cloth, uh, and I don't think we did, we could build a snow shelter. We're in the wind shelter now, so we can walk a little bit faster. So we're somewhere up here, but I can't chart for you today. I got charcoal, and we can't run. We're on our way to the radio tower. The storm is abating. That's good news. It's calming down. Are we going uphill or down? I, it's hard to tell, but I think we're actually going uphill. We should be coming to the hill that leads to the radio tower. And there is a bed there. We will make use of it. 
you can also finish researching our books there. And I hope we find a maple sapling somewhere around there. Yeah, we're getting closer. Here's some old man's beard. I see that stuff all the time now on trees around. But okay, we're almost there. Yeah, we're cold again too. You notice we're three down arrows on our temperature bar. That means that it is super windy out there. But if we get in behind here, see how it instantly drops? And if you check, if you check your uh, condition, it feels like minus 3. But the air temperature is minus 28. The wind chill is only minus 2, so uh, that's why. And there, you can see it, the radio tower. The wind sounds different now. And here, guess what that is? That's a rope anchor for descending. And it, but there's no rope out here. So I'm betting you the rope is inside of that place. That's what I'm betting. If we could only chart up here, I'm sure we'd have a magnificent view. But we're going to have a view come morning anyways. Because we expended all of our energy just to get here. And there is a... There is a thing back here. And that gave us two. So... And what do we have for fuel? Nothing. We got a torch. And we got to cook three fish, so... This will come in handy. That'll do it. That's all we need. Okay. Let's be cooking fish. We've got half an hour, so in half an hour we could, can't run, but we can go inside for a few minutes and look around. Out. Oh, ammo. We'll take that. There's a rifle. Insulated boots. Yeah. Granola bar. Yeah, we're going to eat it. Lots of good stuff, but I'm not seeing a bow. Lots of food, water, rifle, another pop. Okay, let's go get our food. Fourteen minutes, eight minutes. I'm gonna cook this other fish. Might as well. 
29 minutes, 3 minutes. Let's take that. Okay, so how much water did we get there? Oh, we got some that didn't purify, so we'll use use this. That uses one more. And we're so exhausted we can't even see. However, I think we can chart again. Yipper. We can certainly chart. Well, I think we can chart in the morning, so... At the moment, we need to sleep. What a mess in here, eh? We're a little bit down on water, so let's have our little slurp. Which one is the rest? Aishi tea? We don't have herbal tea. Oh, we forgot to cook the herbal tea. Oh well. Let's sleep 12 hours. That will get us till morning. And then I'm going to call it a recording right there. <laughs> 